No matter where in the world you're reading along with me from, one thing is certain, seasons change. And here in Southern California, we're getting ready to leave our cold fall and start emerging into our winter season. And it gets, it gets cold for California. <laughs> This is an adorable story. It's titled A Snowman for Little Bear. It's written and illustrated by Trace Maroney. Let's read along together. Deep in the woods on a cold winter's morning, Little Bear was snoozing and snoring, then stretching and yawning when something caught her eye. A big, fluffy snowflake floated gently past her window. The first snow had arrived. She squealed with excitement. No one loves snow more than Little Bear. As fast as barely possible, she put on a woolly hat with a pom-pom on top, a stripy scarf, a snuggly coat, some snow boots, and finally, mittens. Then she raced out the door into the soft, white snow. Little Bear loved to make dragon's breath in the cold air. She loved to catch snowflakes on her tongue. She loved to throw snowballs. She loved to make footprints and follow others. She loved to go fast on her sled. And she loved to make snow angels. And she especially loved to make a snowman. After patting and rolling and pushing and lifting and huffing and puffing, she took a step back to take a look. Hmm, I think something is missing. A family of downy sparrows had gathered to watch and were excitedly tweeting about Little Bear's progress. News traveled fast deep in the woods. Along came Little Squirrel. Oh, look here, Little Bear. I have just the right thing. A snowman needs some eyes. Of course, Little Bear said as she clapped her hands with delight. But I think something is still missing. The downy sparrows tweeted as fast as they could. News traveled fast deep in the woods. Along came Little Bunny. Look here, Little Bear, I have just the right thing. A snowman needs a nose. Of course, said Little Bear, feeling very thankful that Little Bunny would give her one of her precious carrots. Hmm, but I think something is still missing. The downy sparrows tweeted as fast as they could. News traveled fast, deep in the woods. Along came little Dormouse and her seven brothers and sisters. Look here, little bear, we have just the right thing. A snowman needs a smile. Of course, said little bear, which made her smile. But I think something is still missing. The downy sparrows tweeted as fast as they could. News traveled fast, deep in the woods. Along came Little Red Fox. Well, here, Little Bear, I have just the right thing. A snowman needs a scarf. <laughs> of course, said Little Bear, admiring the colorful, woolly scarf Little Red Fox's mom had knitted. But I think something is still missing. The downy sparrows tweeted as fast as they could. News traveled fast deep in the woods. Along came Little Owl. So look here, little bear. I have the last missing thing. A snowman needs a hat. <laughs> Of course, said Little Bear, agreeing that the snowman was complete, almost. Wait, squealed Little Bear, there's just one more thing. She hurried inside 
and a moment later returned carrying something very special. Oh, look at that. Look here, said Little Bear. I have just the right thing. Oh, I see some love in that heart shape, don't you? Oh, look at that. And she had. The downy sparrows tweeted as fast as they could. The best ever snowman had been made in the woods. <laughs> Look at that. That's a lot of work. If you've ever tried to build a snowman, you know that's a lot of work. Deep in the woods on a cold winter's evening, Little Bear was stretching. Oh, uh, head yawning, then snoozing, and <laughs> a snowman for Little Bear. Oh, that certainly looks nice and snugly, doesn't it? I'm glad that she had all those extra layers to keep her warm. Until we read again, boys and girls, adios amigos. Goodbye.